everybody. Welcome to Hunky Dory TV. My name is Anne Marie, and I'm going to be looking after you for this show. Um, we've got the lovely Lise there looking after us this morning. How are you, Lise? I'm not so bad. Good. Yeah, we've just had a small like Friday celebration. We're very excited. Uh, and in demonstration station, fresh from a hobby maker, it's the gorgeous cat. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good. You yes. have a lovely day yesterday. Oh, it was fabulous. It was so much fun. Two amazing, amazing launches. Yeah, it was fabulous. We were talking about it yesterday at the end of the, of the show, and and Dan was like, oh, and cat's got pocket pads, and he's like, oh, she's got embossing folders. And we were like, I know, it's the best day. <laughs> very exciting um so we are going to be showing you those brand new pocket pads today they are here they are fantastic you are going to love them um we do have the brand new car blank as well we're very excited for that but before we get into everything should we have a look at this week's win it weekly It is, of course, your final opportunity to get your answers in today. Oh, we made adjustments for the little books yeah. and then we've still got a big thing to show. <laughs> so five lucky winners will win this perfect day's <laughs> luxury <laughs> topper collection. Um, you need to answer our question correctly, though. So we asked you on Monday... What is the largest collection of pocket mirrors ever recorded? Is it A, 1,456? Is it B, 965? Or is it C, 698? I was just having a little read at the answer. It's fascinating. Let us know what you think it is. And later on in the show, we will be picking five lucky winners. So it is your last chance to get in with your Win It Weekly answers. Okay, let's take a look at some of the amazing finished samples made with our gorgeous pocket pads. love pocket pads they are i don't know they're like handy like little books but just a little bit of a smaller scale and i feel like you can sometimes do a little bit more with them you can kind of put multiple images on one card if you want to because they are that little bit smaller um we do have the five brand new ones for you so we've got the best of britain cute cats majestic butterflies nobody does it better and sports and hobbies for her um requested many many times by lots of customers for sports and hobbies for the ladies so we have got that for you so you can grab all five of those brand new pads for just 15 pounds 95 if you're a diamond member look at your crazy price 14 pounds 36 <laughs> i mean that's not my mcdonald's is going to be more than that today yeah i can tell you now yeah that's definitely <laughs> Um, we worked it out per sheet. Oh no, you did Yesterday, didn't. and it was like below, just below five p. What? And that price is lower than that, so you'll be yeah. probably about four p a sheet for the bundle. That's crazy, isn't madness. it? Absolute madness. When you th when you look at some of the cards that you can make, and don't just think small cards either. Don't just think you're only going to be making little teeny tiny cards. These are substantial cards. Look at that one they are just so cool i will show you the boards in a minute as well i just wanted to show you some of the makes because they are fabulous you know a um eight oh my goodness get your words out eight by six car blank size you know your dls uh seven by seven you're still going to be able to make those bigger cards so don't think that just because they're pocket size you only have to make pocket size cards because you absolutely do not okay let's have a look no. oh lisa said before the show because <laughs> i don't know this one uh, so we said oh we don't use this camera very often she's like if we get to a black screen i press the wrong button because <laughs> we just don't use it that often um but look at what we've got for you here so this is your sports and hobbies for her and it is it's just awesome isn't it look at all the different sports and hobbies and it's fabulous we've got swimming cycling we've got canoeing boxing horse riding ballet um we've got basketball is that basketball is it netball golf walking skateboarding 
football my goodness this is absolutely amazing if you've got a sporty girl in the family then this is just incredible and how unusual is this to see you know we get asked so often because it is all about the guys you know we do find that that's a more oh lisa that's a bit too Hello, much Oof. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get asked for, you know for ladies all the time and this is just amazing i love all the different hobbies and sports we've managed to cram into there i think it's fabulous it really really is so you can get this pocket pad on its own it is four pound 99 um four pound 49 if you're a diamond member but you can also get them another way so if you want to do uh your own kind of little pick and mix your own um multi buy if you want to you can do any three for 9.99 which is basically three for two isn't it it's such good value so it's up to you how you want to purchase these um you can go with the mega bundle which is the best value by far, because that's going to save you uh, nine pounds and that's 15 pound 95. You can go any three for 9.99 or you can just get one for 4.99 or 4.49 if you're a diamond member. So lots and lots of options um, for every single budget. Next we have got, oh, look at this. Stunning. This makes my heart happy. Majestic butterflies, it, uh, oh my goodness. It's just so magical, isn't it? Look at all the beautiful, like the sparkle. Is the word yes. I was using yesterday. That is a cracking word. Jewels and starry backgrounds. Oh, just gorgeous. It is stunning, isn't it? So so beautiful. Um, I love that kind of like you say that that mystical magical feel they've got. They're they're just beautiful. Really, again, a little bit different. You've got lots of kind of darker tones in here as well. Um, that just make those butterflies sparkle perfectly. So again, four ninety nine on its own. Any three for nine ninety nine, or that mega bundle at fifteen pounds ninety five. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> words! Look at this! <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at this guy! <laughs> I'll take one of each, please. Oh yes, please. <laughs> yeah, if you if you don't know what to buy me for my birthday, uh, a kitten will do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word, look how cute they are. They're just absolutely adorable. This one as well. So oh, cute. it's so cute. I absolutely love this. If you are a cat fan, you need this in your life. No, no questions. You know, you just need it. Um, it is just adorable. I love this one as well. <laughs> it's wow. so, so cute. It really is. Um, and the one with the balloons. Can you see that one? <laughs> And this is a great one for mixing and matching yes. on, a card, on one card like this you were one, saying before. Let me just show you this one actually because it did catch my eye that Lois had done. Perfect. Look at that. How cute is that? So that is an 8x8 eight eight card and we've got two of those designs on there and she's decoupaged them as well. So they look absolutely amazing. So you can really, like, like Kat said, mix and match on this one. It is fabulous. So again, £4.99 for that one. Any three for nine ninety nine or fifteen ninety five if you want the mega bundle. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I mean, come on, look at this! Look at the footballer! Oh wow, this is fabulous! I mean, there's a known for every eventuality here, isn't there? <laughs> it is wonderful. We've got little artist gnome. We've got aeroplane gnome. Look at the Formula One gnome. He's gorgeous. <laughs> This is fabulous. Look at the barbecue one. Oh, my word. Absolutely love this. We know how much you guys love gnomes. Uh, we They're just something that isn't going out of fashion. They're not going away. No. Um, they're just so, so popular. And this is just a lot of fun as well. I'm thinking Father's Day, this is going to be really good fun. Yes. You know, oh, if, you've got, if you've got a man in your life that's, you know... A little bit of a grumpy gnome, <laughs> but he's into some of these. Look at the rock star one. He's fab. Absolutely love it. You you need, again, you need this in your life. This is why you need the bundle, because you've needed them all so far. Um, so let's have a look at our final one, which is <sighs> the best of Britain. I love this one. When we were uh, selecting the artwork for this one and Alan sent this artwork over, I was like, this, I think, is possibly my favourite because it's quite contemporary. Yes. It's got quite a modern vibe to it. But I'm just thinking popping these in frames. Yeah. They're gonna look I, fab. Well, I said yesterday on Hobby Maker, 
take away the cover, the front cover that we put on there, obviously, to show you. Pop that in a frame yes. as it is. And it's absolutely stunning. And I love, I think this is like the first time we've brought you any artwork yeah. like this. And I love that with all the things that we bring you, that we can still bring you new things that are so stunning and yeah. so fabulous. Definitely. This is wonderful. These are the kind of pieces of artwork that you can buy and they cost a small fortune. Yeah. You know, just for the prints. That's before you've even put it in a frame. But get yourself some A3 card. Do lay it out just like this and pop it into a big frame. It's going to look incredible in any home. It's going to look fabulous. And the, the images are just awesome. Um, do you live near any of these landmarks? Let us know. We'd, uh, we'd love to know. Um, but we've got kind of seaside scenes. Uh, we've got, I love this one here with the bridge and the train going over. I think it's fabulous. Uh, we've got city scenes in here as well. We've got fabulous um, kind of like churches and things. It is, it's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's another it's another need I'm afraid <laughs> so the best option is to just go for all five and then you're absolutely covered you can go for all of these you've got all of those options how amazing is it going to be when someone says to you can you make me a couple of birthday cards I'd really like one of a lady doing yoga uh, I'd like one uh, with Blackpool Pleasure Beach on it please and I'd like one with uh, a rock star gnome yeah and you can be like, yeah, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just going to be fabulous, isn't it? £14.36 is going to get you all five of those home as well if you are a Diamond member, which is just, it's just unreal. Let me show you a few more makes before we jump over to Kat because we do have so many fabulous cards. Look at this one. Look how cute that is. Really simple, but just gorgeous. Another decoupage one here from Lois. Look at that. It looks fab, but you, we know how much stuff you've got in your stash. All the paper pads that you've got, your duo designs, um, your uh, designer card packs as well. You know, look at that galaxy one with the butterflies. Oh, it's gonna look sensational. Look at this one as well from Emma, creating a little stepper card, cutting those butterflies out, using them as embellishments. Uh, this is another gorgeous one from Lois. I absolutely love that one. It's fabulous. Oh, look at this one as well. <laughs> oh, my word. And one more. A rugby girl. I mean, it's just fab, isn't it? Absolutely love it. Okay, Kat, we are coming for our first demo. Okie dokie. We are going straight in with our gnomes because oh, they're just like everybody's favourite. Um, so I have picked out... Um, I'm not going to lie, winging this one a little bit. It's okay. the last one I had to prep, it's so right. I've got a little bit of an idea, but not much ready to go, so it might take me a while. And I'm going to be really naughty and give you a sneak peek of the kinetic cards the that are coming up next. Do not worry. Because I wanted to use them in more than one demo. And Anyway, so, you know we brought you the steppers last time, and to say you love them is the biggest understatement <laughs> that ever really was. Is. And when we know you love something, we want to do something bigger and better next time Always. so we came up with our kinetic cards and these are fabulous because me and Amri were talking about the show and it's one of those as much as we craft it's one of those cards that we don't really time to do ourselves no, because you're like you. no too much measuring yeah. too much working out too many things that can go wrong for yeah me. <laughs> absolutely and not only is it that it's already decorated for yeah. you with either our beautiful gold or silver foiling on our wonderful adorable scorable cardstock so i'm starting by following the two outside score lines and i'm just folding them in giving them a nice burnish down so they are nice and crisp and then I'm going to come into this one. Now, you've just got to be a little bit careful because this has got a score line here, but the two top bits haven't. So you've just got to kind of manoeuvre it gently into place so you're not scoring or creasing that top bit there. Unless you want to, because yeah, you can you, do funky things yeah. with this later on. And then we're just going to do the opposite on the other side. It's just about having a little patience. Yeah. And that is one of the things. And that one goes back and that one comes forward. Not you fold it. It, it just kind down. of pops into shape, yeah. doesn't it? And once you've done a couple, you're fine to go. But then it comes round and you get this amazing. Oh, look how cool it is. Card like that. Absolutely fabulous. You don't need very much to, to go along with that. You can make the quickest, simply simple cards ever. And again, I think we worked out yesterday 
that these were about 74 or something P. So yeah. then when you just add one of these, you're at 80 P for, for a card, card that like looks this. like that Incredible. with an envelope as well. Yeah. It's it's just unbelievable, like isn't it? So that is our basic kinetic card. I'm going to leave this one as it is for the time being. And then I'm going to bring back in our gnomes. Now, I was thinking, because we've got that beautiful hexagon pattern going on in the background, I have picked out some of my hexagon nesting dies. And I'm just going to have a play around and pick some elements out. Um, we're going to start with our main guy. And... Now, as you can see, these are designed to fit perfectly on here. But I love that gold foiling so much, I don't want to cover it all up. So I'm going to chop this down just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off each side. Just work our way around. And I'm doing a quarter of an inch all the way around because if I just took half an inch from the top and the bottom it would be a little bit uneven. So yeah. this way you get it nice and straight. And then I'm taking a gold mirror mat. Now this time I can take, because it's just a plain piece of card, I can take the half an inch just off the side yeah. and the bottom. And this is the beauty with the mirror mats, that even though we're still cutting it down, if we cut the same amount off, it's still going to work as a mirror mat absolutely perfectly like that. So I'm going to pop that onto there. For some reason, I'm just going to tape the front then. <laughs> I think that, that, uh, be okay. that drive home is starting to catch up with me. <laughs> so we're going to pop this on there. Just layer that up. So that's going to be my base layer. I'm going to take another one and we're going to do exactly the same again, but this time I'm going to do some die cutting out of it. So Ooh. I am just going to pop it on a little bit of cardstock first, Okay. because this is something, I think I discovered it before the last show, um, when you die cutting out of these and you're layering them back up and then you're going in with your foam pads, they can buckle a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's what's so, paper, isn't yeah. it? So if you go in and just stick them on a little bit of uh, cardstock first. It just makes your life easier in the wrong, long run. And I'm sure we've all got scraps that are perfect for using up for things like this. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to pop down a couple of others as well that I can use for my later cutting antics that we're going to come up with. I have just pulled a card blank out of the side here, so it's not that I'm using that for any particular reason, it's just the first thing my, land, my hand landed <laughs> on when I was reaching down. I uh, pop this one down. So like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this here, it's just giving them that extra bit of stability. Yeah. It does help, and it's it's a good um, good kind of practice to do it with like your little book pages as well. You know, yeah, anything where definitely. you're going to be die cutting, they just need that, like you say, that's just that little bit of stability, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So with our first one, let's cut this down now, so it's the same size as that layer. So we're going to go around again, and we're going to take a quarter of an inch off each side. So I know it's going to sit on top of there perfectly. And this is what's great, just by adding something in like this kinetic card here. If you're struggling for inspiration, just look at what you've got in front of you. And yeah. I've just taken that hexagon pattern and it's just inspired me what I want to use and what I want to work with it. Yeah. So there's always inspiration hidden with these beautiful things that we give you. So I think we'll take that one. and Maybe we'll pop a smaller one inside just so we can create like a little... A little layer and um, tack this down with some tape if she can find the end of it oh, I've had <laughs> one of those you know where it all rips on you uh, oh, come on I've just put you on on my phone so I can see the comments because the uh, the iPad's not been very friendly today oh, it's not being very friendly most days is it let's uh, tack this down 
I'm trying to keep Aww. it even. It's very cute. Look at his little face. So. so, so cute, isn't it? And then I've got some other ones here. Let's see if these will fit on. Um, let's do that one there. And another one here. And then I might come back and use those sizes again. Okay. In a bit. Like I said, I am winging this one. So it will take us where it takes us. <laughs> this is okay. Oh, I think it's working again now. I think, anyway. But, to be 100% honest, this is more how I craft when I'm just crafting daily. It's very rare that I sit and plan it fully out before I, I oh, make no, a Oh, no, same. Yeah. I start. You have, like, a little, a tiny little idea. Yeah. And you just start kind of running with it, don't you? And some go exactly how you think they're going to go. Yeah. And then others turn out completely different. Usually for a, for a good reason. Yeah. And usually for the better. we got that one hiding up there. Fabulous. So we'll take this out. And you can feel just how much easier that's yeah. going to be to work with now. So I'm going to use this as like a little frame. Go in with my foam pads. We've been asking people to let us know their favourite of the pads. Um, and Michelle said, the sporting hobbies for her, followed by cute kittens. Catherine is the other way round. Kittens then sports, <laughs> uh, lady sports. Uh, Susan said, butterflies closely followed by the gnomes. And this is what I love about pocket pads, is we can bring you five completely different styles. Yeah. But over those five, you're going to get something for everybody, yes. which I absolutely love as well. And because they aren't foiled, you can then add whatever foil yes. you want into them. There's no sentiments or anything on them. So lots of them are suitable for so many different occasions. Absolutely. They're just so versatile. They really are. Michelle, uh, another Michelle, says gnomes, kittens and butterflies. And the value is just unrivaled, isn't it? It is, kind you can't. So, there's it, genuinely fourteen pound thirty six as a diamond member. It, it's what can you get that's going to give you? Um, what is it? How many sheets do we have all together? Three hundred and twenty, I think. Three hundred and twenty potential cards. Yeah. For fourteen pounds thirty six. Yeah, well, this is what I said the other day. If you just are really frugal and just make kind of yeah. like little notelet cards, sell them for a pound a piece because you can. Yeah. That's £320 exactly. for a 14 36 exactly. outlet. It's and even if you, you know, maybe you, you're thinking, well, I'm never going to sell 320 cards. That's fine. Just sell 50. <laughs> yeah, you've still made. Just sell 25. And you've still made all your money back. Great for if you're making for charities, you know, obviously for kind of animal charities, if you get that cute kittens, you know, for the um, the cat charities and things like that, it's going to be absolutely um, ideal. Um, but again, you know, just make for charity, just pop a little basket together with like 10, 20 cards in, take it to work, take it to the hairdressers, you know, anything like that. Oh, this looks so cute. So Can't I love it. I'm just going to play around. I'm going to see if I can sneak just another little one out of this here. We can fit that on there. Get that through again, just to fill up some of these spaces. And we'll run that through quickly. And that's it's just, I think you can see with all the card examples as well, yeah. that you don't just have to use them as that little rectangle no. cut into them. Yeah. There's been some absolutely stunning ones, especially with the best of British, when they've been cut down into oh, circles. And yeah, they look amazing. Making the different images, so, so beautiful. Emma said, I love the no one, great for mail cards. Um, Geraldine, running late, but I love the butterflies and cats. She said, I hope everyone is well. What put me off this morning was this strange thing called sunshine, not <laughs> usually seen in Argyll and Butte. Um, we, we, haven't, we haven't got much sunshine this morning. Not this morning. It was a little no. bit soggy. So let's have this 
coming over the top there. I feel like the um, the rate like the spring keeps kind of being here, and we all get really excited and we scare it off. We, we and then do. the next day it's raining again. I very much had that yesterday, driving down to Hobby Maker, it and it was beautiful. And I was like, at last, and I was like, this must be. Put that on the wrong side. The first time in about ten trips to Hobby Maker where it's not just rain the yeah. whole way down. And I was so happy until I drove home and it rained it's all the way home. Down. <laughs> it's just so mean. <laughs> so we're just going to layer these on here. I think I'm about getting happy with this. I like this. It looks really cool. And the beauty is because you've got all that beautiful foiling on there, you don't have to think it, overthink it too much. Just play around with a few different elements. We'll pop that on there, it's and really then cool. I delved in to our uh, bigger book oh, of fabulous. sentiments, and I find this exactly the right shape. And I love that it's in that green as well that just picks yeah. up on those other colours. I think we might just pop this maybe down there. I think that looks cool down yeah. there. Your bigger book of sentiments is available on the website. You can get it in the adorable, scorable version or the matastic now. Both are now available. That looks fab. And we're just, we're going to keep it just like that. And just by cutting in. Really working with the looks design so that cool. was already on there. Oh, it's amazing. Isn't it cool? And you could keep going. You could add lots, lots more on if you wanted to. But I think. I think it's really fab. Cute. Yeah, <laughs> we love it. It is amazing. Um, I am going to show you those kinetic cards first. Um, I'm going a little bit out of sorts. Um, <laughs> not much, not much. Uh, so they're going to come to you like this, flat packed, with their matching envelopes as well. Um, I think they're seven by five they fold down to. And you are going to get 16 cards. Now you are going to get 16 different ones because you're going to get three of the same kind of foils, but they're going to be on different colours. In different colour foil, so you're not going to get any double ups whatsoever. It's four different foils, sorry. So you're going to get the gorgeous polka dots on all of those shades. Oh, look at this one! That kind of check. It's a. It could be a gingham. Great for male and female cards. That one. It really is fabulous. Um, I love it in the chocolate colour there. It's stunning. You've got the beautiful little ditzy flowers. Look at that foiling. Even if you don't want to make kinetic cards, just cut those panels out. Yeah, definitely. It's <laughs> so beautiful. You've got the pink, you've got that lovely kind of sage green there, you've got the ivory, and again, we've got that gorgeous chocolate. And then we've got that beautiful honeycomb that Kat's just used there, so you're going to get that in the ivory, you're going to get it in the beautiful kind of sky blue there, that sunshine yellow that Kat's just used, and that lovely lilac as well. So every single one is different. Um, and they do fold up to create those incredible kinetic cards. So you can get 16 of those with your envelopes. Amazing value. Oh, C6 envelope. What size is that, Lisa? Mm. That's odd, isn't it? Than five. Oh, I don't know. Or yeah. oh, maybe it is just A6. Yeah, yeah C6. C6. A6. Yeah, we don't, we don't use that terminology. It's Adam, isn't it, that? Bringing out his random, his random words. They're not Isn't seven by a five. A for cards and C's for the envelopes so. that match. So yeah. as long as the numbers the same yeah. at the end. That's so a, a six it. size they go to, not seven by five. That's my fault. Sorry, I should listen to Adam's crazy terminology. <laughs> and then if you would like the steppers, we do also have those currently available for you as well. Uh, again, exactly the same. Sixteen um, cards in there and sixteen envelopes. Um, £10.79 if you're a diamond member. It's just amazing value, isn't it? It really, really is. Uh, so they're the two uh, kind of versions of those that we have for you. Let me show you some of the makes using the um, Kinetic one as well because it does look rather fabulous. Look at those. I love those gnomes cut out. That little bit of fussy cutting. This one's from Emma. They look fabulous, don't they? Look at this one with the butterflies. <gasps> this one is from Leanne. That looks stunning, doesn't it? Absolutely stunning. Um, this one is fabulous. This is made, um, just cutting those panels up. That's from Rach. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And then look at this absolute showstopper. How incredible does that look from Emma? That's just wonderful, isn't it? Popping some acetate in there to create a real centerpiece. 
it's gorgeous love 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 so that is your uh, kinetic cards and then we also have some previous uh, pocket pads for you so if you want to add some and make your own little bundle you can do any three for 9.99 um and we're showing you this one first it was bottom of the pile but i don't remember seeing this one i don't remember seeing this one i feel like i've just completely blank this out of my mind or I, 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 you're not the only one maybe i wasn't <laughs> here or something look at it it's got mermaids in and everything somebody Honestly. has been gatekeeping this haven't they? it's been hidden i haven't seen this before it's not just me look at that look at that little fairy doll it's fabulous it would work beautifully with your gnomes as well that oh, page, wouldn't it? it yeah definitely it is wonderful i don't know when this came out but I need it in my life. Look yeah. at that. Wow. It's incredible. The wishing... Oh, is it a wishing well? Yeah. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Look at the frog. <gasps> Have you seen a more handsome frog? Apart from maybe by the riverside. He was quite handsome as well. Uh, you've got the dragon. Uh, we have got this gorgeous little fairy. I mean, look at her reading her book. She's beautiful. She, looks like she does a little bit, doesn't <laughs> she? She does, definitely. Uh, she does pull that little oh, so innocent face, but she's not. She's just full on trouble. Uh, we've got the gorgeous unicorn. And then our final one there, those candles. I love that one. So that is your Mystic Moments. We also have for you your Stunning Steampunk. This is a firm favourite in the office. Um, it, it, it is just wonderful. It's such a, a different style, isn't it, to the kind of pretty florals that you often see uh, and again this is what we were saying earlier it's just so nice to bring you something completely different with pocket pads it is just amazing so you've got your stunning steampunk uh, we've got our paper arts we love oh. this one as well it's just amazing look at that that it makes you want to touch it and check it's not 3d doesn't it <laughs> you can't believe that isn't 3d it's just amazing it is so cool. Obviously, you can do some fussy cutting into here if you want to, but they look incredible just as they are. They really, really do. They're just wonderful. Again, a little bit different in style. Um, and I, I really, really love that we can bring you something that's a little bit more niche, something yeah. that we maybe, you know, can't do in a big full collection, but we can bring you in the pocket pad. So we're still ticking all of those boxes for those kind of niche and unusual themes. But it's a great way for us to get a feel of what you Definitely. love as well. Because yeah. if you love something like that and we can see it selling, then we can maybe we can upscale it to Definitely. something bigger. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, we have got the men's leisure time, so matching the ladies perfectly. You've got all, all of your guys doing all their guy things, all their so, guy hobbies. And it's the same style kind of artwork, yes. isn't it? So, so you could make his and hers cards. It would yeah. be amazing. It would be fabulous, wouldn't it? Really, really cool, that one there. We've got our gardening days as well. We'll have a quick flick through this one. This is just so pretty. So pretty. I love the wellies. It's fabulous. <laughs> it is so, so cool. You've got that gorgeous water fountain. You've got the planters there. You've got your apron and all your equipment, the floor watering can, your sheds, your little potting shed there. Looks super cute. Look at that secret garden gateway. It's gorgeous. And your greenhouse in there as well. So each one of these has 64 pages in remember. We've got our garden visitors. This is cute. This has got all sorts of uh, little critters in it. We've got butterflies in here. Um, we have got little bugs, beetly things, I think, ladybirds. Uh, I think we've got a snail in here as well. We've got bees. We've got dragonflies. We've got a cricket. I mean, come on. When, when did you see something with a cricket in? You know, it's just fabulous, isn't and it? It's often used as a term of endearment cricket, isn't it? Yeah. My little cricket and stuff. So you can really personalise that. Definitely. It is just wonderful, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. And um, the Galady bugs there as well. Uh, and then we have also got beautiful botanicals. So again, another kind of floral. I love the style of this one, though. It kind of reminds me of those like botanical books where you get like the Latin name of the flowers and everything and... Um, it really is wonderful. Great for fussy cussing if you want to do a little bit of that as well. But get your dies out, cut into these, create your own kind of pyramage effects if you want to as well. They're so stunning. Again, this would be another one that would be lovely in a frame with all the different prints in. It's beautiful. Uh, and then we also have 
the heartfelt haberdashery this one is super cute i love the colors that we have in here it's kind of got that really lovely soft pastel vintage feel you've got all sorts in here you've got sewing boxes uh you've got um mannequins you've got sewing machines you've got all uh, look at the buttons mm. oh it's so cute i love this all your bobbins and things like that it is just gorgeous that is your heartfelt haberdashery and then the last one that we've got to show you is music to my ears this one is very musical uh it is fabulous for anyone that is a fan playing music listening to music uh, going to concerts things like that it's just going to be perfect you've got all sorts of different musical instruments records and things as well i love the microphone i think it looks amazing Ooh. i mean another so unusual image isn't it it's fab you've got the harp in there as well you've got the electric guitar and um, you've got your gramophone uh, some kind of brass instrument I don't want to get it wrong so I won't try mm. <laughs> uh, some drums I know this one yeah. uh, and I want to say violin yep it's got the little thing there that they put on the chin isn't it yeah definitely violin uh, so there you go. So Pocket Pads Multibuy, any three for £9.99. I'm sure we've probably got some of the older bundles as well. Oh, yeah, of course there is. The Say It With Style. Do you know, we completely forget they all fit under one kind of umbrella. So you can totally mix and match these with the Say It In Style as well. So there's so many options. It is fabulous. Right, I think we're going to cat. Yay. I went out of order, but we're all good. We're going to cat. <laughs> So we are going to have a play with the kinetic card again, but this time we're going to do it slightly differently. Now, I did do a version of this card on Hobby Maker yesterday with, it was the pale blue and it was the sports ladies, but it's just good to show how you can replicate it across yeah. your different colours and your different Definitely. packs. Definitely. So this time we are going, the first thing I'm going to do is cut out this section here. Okay. So let me get my craft knife. Where is it? Um, that's not good because the chances are that means I've probably left it at Hobby Maker oh, no. if it's not there. But the there one is there. one here, yeah, and we have say, got I can a grab ruler. one if you need it. Although I did freestyle this yesterday, so I'm just going to cut up to the edge of this gold border here. So we've just got a little bit of that still coming through. I'm just going to take this round, and then. We're going to take this panel out, but the beauty of this is that we're not going to reuse it on this card, but then you've got a lovely foil dotty board to use on some, a panel to use on something else. So we're making that value go even yeah, further. Yeah, definitely. And there's always going to be a use for a black and gold spotty oh my goodness. dotty piece of foil for card sure. stock. So we'll just pop that out go back in those corners make sure I've got everything you can do this cleanly. with your trimmer as well I guess couldn't you you certainly could yeah. yeah so we'll just take that out of there how different does it look just like that I know it just creates a uh, a lovely little aperture panel now I'm going to learn from my own mistakes I'm going to pop my acetate on before I fold it up because I think it'll just have me a little bit of stability yeah, back for when back I fold in. it when I fold it in so I've just kept cut a little bit of acetate to the shape of that there added some red liner around the sides and we're just going to create like a little aperture window into the front here just to add a little bit more depth and definition and I'm going to be working with our stunning best of Britain for this one and I'm just I love with this collection as well, and we do it throughout when you showed those older ones we've done there, that we bring you some things that we know are tried and tested and we know that you love, like yeah. cats and kittens and butterflies. But then we always try to bring something new and fresh in as well. And I think the women's sports and the best of Britain in this one are just another level. So we're just going to pop that in the back there, secure that down, and then I can go ahead and fold this up. Now this time... I want to create this so it's almost kind of going to pop forward for me. So I'm going to fold that in. 
I always get a bit nervous when I'm folding cards up. It's one of those things. This bit's going to come back. It's because it doesn't always go right first time. No. You kind of feel that that pressure to get it absolutely spot on. But sometimes you just need to have a play around with it, don't you, for it to kind of fall into place. And that's going to go back like that. It's just created that kind of aperture. And it gives this really kind of cool like cinematic effect when it's done oh and it's so fabulous. like simple you just need to like it into place but oh, that is just so stunning isn't as it, it is isn't it kind of thing so we're just going to add a few embellishments to it so we're going to start with that main panel again and i've been through my book and i've picked out lots of the images this is obviously like edinburgh castle i've gone for big ben and then i've gone through and i've got some of the more like generic ones there will be certain places but things that could be different places yeah. so that have got like churches and tower images on um, so my Edinburgh Castle is going to be my main one and I'm going to do what I um, we did before and we're just going to take a quarter of an inch off each side. So we're still going to have that little bit of the uh, acetate showing through so it's almost floating in the yeah, background. It's going to look cool. I'm very excited. And that is going to be our full image. And we're going to do the same with the mirror mat again. Let's just take half an inch off each side. So this time, before sticking them together, I'm going to pop my tape on here. Now, I would recommend your red liner tape, but just in the interest of time, I'm going to use my tape roller but because there are a few layers on here you will probably be okay so I'm going to line this up the best I can I'm going to help use the lines on my glass mat just to help me no it's not wanting to go get it as straight as I can there we go and pop that down amazing and this just means that we're hiding any workings yeah just makes it really still neat, gonna be nice it? and neat from the back and we'll pop this on here. So we're still getting that matte and layered effect, but we're just using it to our advantage. Gorgeous. So we're going to pop that through there. And oh. I like that it's still floating in the middle. It just looks so dramatic though, doesn't it? It does. So much fun. And then I have taken another layer Ooh. and I've just cut that around the top of that um, castle there. And then we're going to take one more layer and we're going to cut out like this street view. But again, just remember that you need to take that quarter of a inch off each side before we do it to be fair you probably don't need to take it from the top because that's going to be coming off but just in the interest of doing this and then we'll go in and we'll fussy cut this street layer and there's lots of detail going on here so if you want to be a little bit chippy choppy and cut a few bits off that you might think are a bit too I don't think anybody's going to notice no. but to be fair it's not as complicated as it looks once you get into it it's quite um, boxy around the top of those roofs so you can see I'm almost halfway there already and we've got some nice like foliage we can just give a little chop around over the top of this tower here I think there's so much going on that you don't have to worry about being perfect with it. And then I'm just going to come down the side of this one here just to finish that off. Cute. And we'll take a couple of foam pads and build this up. I just love how you can really change up these cards that have got almost this like set format. You know, it's just by folding it a different way. Yeah. Cutting little bits out, it, it's just instantly transformed it into a completely different card, hasn't it? Pop that one on there. This one on the top. And it really adds that kind of wanting to walk into the scene factor when you get up close to that. Now for my side panels, like I said, I've picked out four of the different scenes that already have um, like towers and churches and things yeah. on. And we are just gonna cut these down. Let's do my Miri mats first so you don't think I've gone crazy. <laughs> we are going to cut these to one inch. Okay. 
by three and three quarter inches and I'll just show you before I cut my second one I've done that so they just sit in there perfectly okay. but still show off that yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah. detail around the edge as well so again one inch by three and three quarters and then we are going to take our pocket pads and then this is going to change depending on the image that you're using pick out the sliver yeah. that you think is going to highlight the most so i'm going to go for a little bit of the bus and a little bit of big ben here and put in my first line and then i'm just going to take this to two notches under the inch so we're going to have a really fine matte and layer on this one. but yeah we want to get as much as that image and you might think oh you're losing so much but i promise when it's all put together it's still so impactful as like an overall piece um, and then just two notches under the three and three quarters so that's that one and then our final one i'm going to take this church here so again just judge whereabouts you want that to go you can still use those other bits as Absurd, well. Of course you can, yeah. You could make this style of card but use the other little bits that you've got yeah. left over, couldn't you? Or take the full sheet of that one and then you can cut into these and layer them oh, up yeah, back yeah, on it yeah, and yeah. stuff. There's, there's lots of things yeah. you can do. We never, never, we waste, never waste. No. We know what it's like. <laughs> and let's just layer these up and I'll bring in the other two that I've done. So just remember that you've got quite a narrow matte and layer on yeah. here. So just find those first few. Looks amazing. They look like toppers. It's so clever, isn't it? Yeah. Just so much fun. It works really well. I did one, um, well, I've done two. I did one for a sample and one on air yesterday with the butterfly sheets. <sighs> now, if you use two of the sheets of the same butterfly, you use your main image for the centre and then divide them up into four across oh and you goodness. really get that beautiful, like, kinetic look across. Oh, but it looks fabulous. Just add some foam pads to the back here. So then I'll bring in my other two that have all got those kind of tower images on. Michelle is uh, educating us today, and I did actually know this. Uh, it's actually the Elizabeth Tower, Big Ben. Is it the is the, the bell, bell, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I had uh, one of my friends uh, went, it, it was her birthday on Monday. She went to London for the day with her husband, and they went on a tour of Big Ben. And she said it was £25. And she said it was the best thing I've ever done. She said, you go right up to the clock, right up to the top. Um, she said you can see like all the views out across London. She said it, like it was really informative, and she said it was absolutely amazing. But she said the tickets only go on sale on a Wednesday for like the next like three three months time. So it's sold out until August now. Oh my word! But I was like, oh, this is like the best thing ever. I had a look, and it's gone up to thirty pounds. But I think even at thirty pounds, that feels like quite good value still. It really does, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I didn't know it was something you could do. I didn't. So I've just, this time, I've gone into a little, a, a normal book of sentiments and I've got from Across the Miles, which I think is perfect for a card like oh, this. Oh, that is fabulous. Just gonna you know, maybe you've got this. family that have moved out of the UK. Yeah. You know, they've moved abroad. You know, there's so many people doing it these days, aren't they? It's so nice to be able to kind of just remind them what they're missing out on. This beautiful oh, scenery across the UK. Oh, it's wonderful. That is so, so cool, isn't it? Absolutely love it. it. It's more than a card. It's yeah. something you'd keep out. It's a decoration. Definitely. Yeah, it is wonderful. We absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Kat. Okay, last chance for your Win It Weekly as well. If you'd like to be in with a chance of winning this incredible Perfect Days luxury top collection worth £19.99. Five lucky people will be winning, but they need to answer the question correctly. What is the largest collection of pocket mirrors ever recorded? Is it A, 1,456, is it B, 965, or C, 698? Let us know what you think the answer is. And very, very soon, we will be selecting a winner. Uh, okay, I have got for you our wonderful pocket pad mirror mats available. Um, we've got all sorts of options. Let's start with the coloured ones first. Um, 
you've got 80 mirror mats in here all, all 20 colors of our core mirror are covered in here you are going to get four of each as well so it's giving you that um 80 in total six pound 29 as a diamond member my goodness look at that watch it's incredible isn't it <laughs> such good value perfect if you want to add a little bit of color instead of using gold and silver or rainbow you can add a little bit of color uh, using your mirror mats um and there is going to be a colour for absolutely every pocket pad eventuality. You're going to need these in your life. So £6.29 for your coloured pack. Then if you would like your gold, silver or your rainbow, you can pick... Can you pick any three, Lisa? Yeah, any three for £14.97. So if you want three rainbows, you can do that. If you want two gold, one silver, it's entirely up to you. Has it? okay so yeah you could only get it as one of each in the bundle but this is a new offer that we put together for you so you can mix and match and create your own bundle of what you want to use most if you know that you use gold more than any you could go for three gold if you want to it's entirely up to you but 14 pounds 97 um it does save you i'm sure some money because they're 6.99 each so it's going to save you a little bit of money as well along the way and you can choose your own uh, colour choices which is just fabulous isn't it so mirror mats essential you've seen how much cat has used those they they really are essential and then we've got our pocket pad um moonstone die so we've got two sets for you you can buy them individually at 14.99 each but look at your diamond price it's 22 pound 48 for them both and these are going to be dyes that you're going to use forever look at the beautiful blooms frame it's absolutely stunning we saw that did we see that sentiment on on one of the cards yeah, before yeah we did one of Rachel's yeah I'm not sure where I've put it now I've hidden it <laughs> um but you've got that fabulous frame um let me show you I've just spotted this though look at the little cat there in that frame it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful um and you do have that amazing sentiment in there as well uh sending you smiles uh what's it say sending you sunshine sending you sunshine and smiles today and always that's it don't try and read it backwards because mm -hmm. you can't um but you can chop into that as well so you could just have sending you sunshine it's really really cute i love it so that's your beautiful blooms frame and you could see the metal look at that it's such a substantial die your pocket pads fit perfectly in the center of there it is fabulous and then we also have that brush stroke frame, um, which is so, so cool. Uh, the way that this has been designed, it's so clever. It has these like little, um, like little corners that you can kind of tuck your uh, pocket pad page into. It is wonderful. And I think if you remember the last time me and Kat did this show, Kat made the most incredible card using this to kind of, kind of create that 80s kind of party vibe. It looked awesome. Um, so watch that show back as well if you'd like a little bit more inspiration on how to use this die because it was incredible. You do also get the three sentiments included in there. Many happy returns. Here's to new adventures and you're the best. We love it. Absolutely love it. So uh, 13 49 for a diamond member each. Or you can get them both for £22.48, uh, saving you even more monies. Um, and then let's just recap with our brand new launch for today it is of course the um brand new pocket pads ultimate collection seven so we have got sports and hobbies for her we have got the best of britain which is the one that cats just used we've got the cute cats look at him <laughs> oh he's just adorable absolutely adorable we've got the majestic butterflies and we have got nobody does it better uh, all five of those no joke 320 pages um for 14 pound 36 if you're a diamond member it's four pence a sheet four pence a potential topper it, it's just unreal it's such good value uh saving you uh, nine pounds saving you even more if you're a diamond member it's it's crazy price um okay oh we've got some more cards sorry <laughs> i was looking at looking at the list we've got more cards look how simple that is it looks amazing though doesn't it that's it just picking up three of those tonal colors from I love the image it. and it works so well it's fabulous absolutely fabulous and you could be maybe you're getting um 
you're having a weekend away to one of these locations or something and it's you know you're just going to have the tickets in there it's such an amazing um little pad love this one as well teaming it up with our maps as well that's going to be fabulous oh, look at the little kitties it's just so cute creating that gorgeous little gatefold absolutely stunning oh my word look at this one from sam how incredible is this Oh, it's awesome. I love that. Look at it when you look at it that way. It's that like a, a fabulous idea for our next kinetic card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? Uh, and then we've got another one here from Steph. Love this one. Look, look at all the different gnomes in there. Just kind of laying them in there. It looks so wonderful. Cool. Uh, we've got our majestic butterflies. Again, really nice and simple using our designer card packs in the background. We've got this gorgeous one a little bit of pyramage on there just using your trimmer to create that um this one's super cool i oh, love that one colors are so wonderful together. yeah really dreamy isn't it uh, we've got this fabulous one here as well this is from leanne using that gorgeous blue from our mirror mats as well and then we have this one here from barbara um i love that one as well absolutely gorgeous um you just need them i'm afraid um, but we are going to come for another demo, last demo, and then we're going to be giving stuff away. Can I pinch from you, please? Of the course. The grungy, the die, the, the die, die thing, the grungy. Where did die. I put it? It's just at the side of you there. You can see oh. them peeking. It's a good job you can. Thank you. I can't. <laughs> Um, yeah, we are going to mix and match this one in, and this time we are going to go with our wonderful. Um, sports ladies Ooh. because you've been asking for them for so long it'd be a shame not to show them off can i tell you the funniest thing from yesterday always the the boys were setting up the show for me and they were looking at the boards and stuff and they were like ooh. Ooh, ooh. He said, I've never been attracted to a card before. <laughs> and there's some really nice ladies on these, aren't they? I thought, well, oh, that's it really was funny. very, very funny. So I have picked out a sheet of our Judo, Duo Design pad. I've got a couple of shades of vellum. I've got some um, of our Rainbow Miri, and we are going to mix them with this stunning, stunning image here. And you can just see how well already those colours are going to work together. So I'm going to use that for my background, but we'll get our die cutting done first. And I'm going to cut this frame out of these two beautiful parchments. Now, am I brave enough to try and cut through both at the same yeah, time? Yeah, I think fine. it'll work. It's nice and thin, isn't yeah. it? I've got my metal plate in there as well. So we'll put this, make sure that's facing up. Layer these on there. Get my metal shim on. Get it as straight as I can. And we'll run this through. Those plates are so sad. <laughs> and pop this out. And take these off. And even that, I would definitely be saving these oh, and making apertures from as well. They're yeah. so, so beautiful. They look amazing. Oh, look how cool that looks. There's something so tactile about when you take parchment out of the eyes as well. I absolutely love it. Just be careful when you come to those little edges there. Oh, look but at as you that. can see, that has cut out both pieces. Absolutely beautiful, even all the little dots. So I'm going to do a nice seven by seven card, but I'm going to have my main focal point about a six by six. Okay. So I like leaving that white edge, especially when we've got lots of colours going on. Yeah. I think it really just helps make it pop. Ooh, we're going so, jazzy. So we are going jazzy. So I think rainbow works really, really well with this colour collection that we've got going on here. So we'll cut that to six by six. And I, I mean, seriously, as if it was made for, isn't it? Isn't it? Look couldn't at that. ask for anything better. So we'll just do my layer to three notches under the six in both directions. What is that one from? Is that from our... It is Watercolour Dreams and Colour Fades. Nice. One of our faves, that one. And we'll take this 
and this is going to come together really quick this one just to show you can still make those large large cards but with having the wonderful pocket dies uh, pocket pads that you can still make them impactful and quick at the same time so then i'm going to use this to like Ooh. layer up i'm going to choose which one i want this my image to go under now i did learn last time not to mirror map this oh, if yeah, i want yeah, to, yeah, I to put it on <laughs> we made that yeah, mistake put some extra cuts in, yeah didn't we? <laughs> so i'm just going to pop these up here and slide that in there so, so clever isn't it it is i just well i said on the show last time i said it yesterday as well when i first saw this die i was like somebody has lost their marbles what is this yeah. <laughs> all about and then i used it and it became like one of my favorite dies yeah. ever i was like this I is so it. much fun so then i'm just going to cut in to this kind of up the middle i'll try and just do a little bit well believe it just in case any of it's showing and then we can um thingy and then i can go a little bit either side cute just to stretch that image out that looks ace already and your tape runners are perfect for sticking these down and pop this on here and then the one on the other side and then let's add some foam pads on this just to give it that little bit of definition but because we've already put our pocket pad in, we know that's not going to be seen as long as we place that behind where our white rectangle is. Fabulous. Uh, Lisa, mm -hmm. you know we have a plan for next week? Mm -hmm. Like a schedule <laughs> for like all the things we're doing on each different day. Do you think I could change it? it what you're oh, I wanted to switch. Friday into Monday. <laughs> I love how she's doing it live. I know, right? It gives them no choice, I know, really. I know. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I've interrupted a scan. I feel quite rude now. I'm so sorry. I should have waited until you finished. <laughs> so I wanted to put Tuesday into Friday, Friday into Monday, Monday into Tuesday. Wow. I know. Uh, show show wise, there'll be a few people changing as well. <laughs> right, so put just take out Friday for a sec. Put Friday to one side, and then put Monday into Friday, and then Friday back into Monday. Yeah. Is that okay? Are we happy with that? Yeah, and then just switch um, Stacy up to Monday. With you? Yeah, and then I'll do Friday. Yeah, Does that work? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, we've changed it now. <laughs> just because Stacey wasn't like, well, it's because the, the embossing folders were all going to be all the way in next Friday. Oh no, I you know. need them now. I know. They were like months away, it felt like. <laughs> no. Nobody's going to be complaining about that. So all I've done is... Who might? Jen. Yeah, Jen might. <laughs> That's why I asked you in here. <laughs> So I went ahead, I've taken our Sending Smiles die oh, that has become one of my absolute firm favourites. We've cut that out of the mirror. We've just added a few of our Aurora Bor them gemstones. Babies. Yeah. <laughs> onto it. Just to pick it. I don't know that. how many times you need to say it like Aurora 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 oh, Borealis. Yeah. When do you stop? <laughs> I know. And we're just gonna pop that oh, on where you can see amazing. it. Really, really makes it pop. And it's so oh, fresh. Look how cool that looks. I love it. I love that rainbow. It's at, it's made it, hasn't it? That rainbow. Yeah, I've just noticed it. I had started fussy cutting to decoupage it up. Oh, I just forgot I got it. carried away you know, with, all the, with, the, with all the scheduling. <laughs> so that was meant to be built up as well. So you can add even more detail in there. 
Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? I absolutely love it. It's so cool. Um, so yes, you need you need these pocket pads in your life. You really, really do. Um, okay, are you ready for the Win It Weekly answer? Shall we have a look? So the prize this week is five of these Perfect Days Luxury Topper Collections. So we asked you, what is the largest collection of pocket mirrors ever recorded? Was it A, 1,456? Was it B, 965? Or was it C, 698? It was in fact C, 698. Oh. Irene Braun from Germany has a collection of 698 different pocket mirrors as of 10th of June, 2010. It's a long time ago. It's a very long time ago, which is collected for 25 years. Uh, all of her pocket mirrors are promotional mirrors that have, that have adverts of various companies on the back. Wow. wow, it's quite a specific collection, it isn't is it? Not definitely. just random pocket mirrors. So, shall we have a look who's won? Congratulations to Josephine Russell. Oh my goodness, Beverly. Wow, New World. I'm going to go with that. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Beverly. Uh, Theresa Wright, Louise Crossley, and Margaret Kay. Congratulations, ladies. You have all won yourself that Perfect Days Luxury Topper Collection worth £19.99. Uh, it's very exciting, isn't it? And of course, it's Friday. It means we've got to spin the wheel. <laughs> I said I haven't spun the wheel for absolutely ages. So we're gonna we're gonna spin. Let me get it so it's not very glary. I'm gonna spin and then I'm gonna ask you should I ask you a question first? I'll ask you the question first, then you can have a little time to think about it while we're spinning. If you could become a character in any TV show, which one would you choose? I'll spin. Think on. Whatever it lands on is the prize. Lisa picks as a winner. Randomly, ooh, oh, I'm going the wrong way because it's back to front. Topper collection. <sighs> ooh, what would you pick? What would you pick? Very exciting, isn't it? So you can pick a topper collection of your choice from the website if you are selected. Um, it's not something I'd have thought about, if I'm honest. No. What about you? Oh, mine's a no-brainer. Oh, There's is a couple it? of options. I absolutely love Supernatural, but I think it might get a bit spooky. Right. I love, as you know, my cry, true crimey things. Yeah. But that would just be a little bit... That sounds too dangerous. Too dangerous. Yeah. So I'd have to go for Grey's Anatomy. Have you seen the male doctors in that? Um, I, I could live in a world with those doctors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that. So, no-brainer. Lisa, what about you? No, I've been thinking about this all morning. Okay. Right. <laughs> so it either have to be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all-time favourite. Yeah. But then, Gilmore Girls, Small Town Vibes. Okay. I've never watched that. Between the two. I've never watched it. Um, mine would be Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <gasps> the original? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Melissa Joan Hart. There's only yes. one. Only one Sabrina. Um, that would just be the best, wouldn't it? Yeah. Real Life Witch with a cat that talks to you. Yeah. Uh, let us know what, what, what you're thinking. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um... We have got, oh, Rachel Mary Poppins. I'd always be prepared for anything. Uh, Lorraine said Garfield, get waited on. <laughs> uh, Super Gran, Wonder Woman, Aunt Sally from Wurzel Gummidge. Oh, I love Wurzel Gummidge. Um, Doctor Who, I would like to be Jennifer Grey in Dirty Dancing. Oh. Roseanne, Cassie the Good Witch, Claire Fraser. I don't know who that is. Cat Slater. I know Fraser. Oh. Is, that, is she from Fraser? Claire. It says Claire Fraser. So I wasn't sure if that know. was a character. Oh. Was it Claire from Fraser? Is there a Claire? No, I don't in think there? there's a Claire. I have to watch it every night in oh. Gregory Jackson. I don't think there's a Claire. Oh, is it from Outlander? Oh, I see. Uh, Viv Williams said Cat Slater, so I can be really naughty. <laughs> I mean, I, I could definitely do Cat Slater with my leopard yeah. print. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. Uh, Supernatural would be amazing. That's from Claire. Wonder Woman from Jackie. Anyone in Death in Paradise? The locations are gorgeous. But Alison, that sounds dangerous. Yeah. It's like if you go to Midsummer Murders. Yeah. You, you never you're done there, for. You? You're done for. Uh, Buffy. <gasps> oh no. Yeah. Yeah. I want to live with Spike. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Bridgerton. I'd I'd live in Chicago series as a med PD and fire. Oh, Boss Baby. Oh, Boss <laughs> Baby. 
one of my favourite films. Uh, lots and lots of wonderful answers. Um, do we have a winner, Lisa? Um, almost. Almost, okay. I lost it. Okay, she's lost you. <laughs> she's lost you. Found it? Um, yeah, Lynn Clay. It was Lynn Clay. Um, I can't remember what she said. But I we can't. Uh, no, uh, no, Garfield was, Garfield was Lorraine. <laughs> it's Lynn Clay. Congratulations, Lynn. Let us know what you put because we can't find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to oh. know. She did say Garfield. She did say Garfield. Two people said Garfield. Uh, congratulations, Lynn. You've won yourself a top collection of your choice. So please let us know what you would like and we can get that posted out to you. Um, TV schedule. Uh... I had a complete mental block then. I was like, this isn't right. Because I thought it was Thursday. I mean, we're doing all the Friday things. I don't understand what's going on. Uh, Kat is back at Hobby Maker on Sunday. And you've got more newness. I have. Lots. More newness. Uh, we've got brand new Geo Design paper pads. It feels like we've had those in there now for ages. Yeah. And I keep going... Have these been out yet? Because yeah, I want to use them. Yeah. Like, have these been out yet? Oh my goodness, you're going to love them. Absolutely love them. Um, there is a crochet Geo Design <laughs> paper pad. You need. Need, need, need. Um, we've got brand new layering masks as well. And they're going to have the Infill Bloom Decolage back in stock on Hobby Maker. Uh, so tune in for lots more inspiration with that. And then on Monday, we won't be kicking off the week with spectacular new Geo new Design paper pads because we changed the schedule slightly. Mm. So it's going to be brand new embossing folders with Stacey instead. <gasps> so exciting. So exciting. Uh, so make sure you join us on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you then. Mm.